Hey there in YouTube land and I am back after a Halloween month but it's not quite over because I still have some videos to upload that are uh, <coughs> reviews from last month that I'll, I'll be doing down the road but uh, right now I have an unboxing to do I actually opened this up on my when I got home we have to really look at it but I have <coughs> a Shocktober Scream Factory haul here so it's a pretty big bag so why is it big? Well, we'll see that first. We'll look at that first. So I have this here, <coughs> right here. And what's in here? Well, uh, one of these movies actually came in the poster, so <coughs> a poster that I really, really wanted. So this is one that I actually want to put up somewhere. I got to find a big thing for it. And it is this Craven Shocker. I love the art on this one here, actually. Isn't that gorgeous? Mm -hmm. <coughs> I'm actually a really big fan of this movie. Cheesy fun. I love cheesy stuff. Next up, we should show <coughs> show the movie glass. We'll show the magnets. So <coughs> this year's Scream Factory magnets. We got a uh, Army Darkness, Class of 1984, Deadly Blessing. I got that one. Dog Soldiers, uh, Life Force, can I have that one? Pumpkin Head I've got, uh, Demon Knight I don't have yet, Shocker, obviously you guys know that's coming up, Fan of the Paradise I got, the Arrow Edition, that one, <coughs> Prince Darkness I got, Mad Max I got, Escape from New York I got. <coughs> so uh, I don't have Army of Darkness. Apparently somebody discovered there was like 2.9 seconds missing. And then there was another second missing somewhere. I remember a time when we left, when we actually bought movies that we liked because we wanted to see the movie and not because we were going to go and play two movies at once and just make sure there wasn't a second missing somewhere. Just, just saying. It's, it bothers me. It really does. <clears throat> People aren't movie fans anymore. They're just on a nitpick and find out all this type of stuff and drives me well totally does so <coughs> I have four and first up it's a double feature <coughs> one that I really had fun with actually I remember this movie you scared me when I was a kid and that is Ghost House and it comes with a witchery these are both La Casa films La Casa I did a video on it before so let's go back into, into that video and find out what La Casa means it actually they're a series of films, sort of. They're, they're uh, linked in a small way. You may have the Lacasa series if you have this and not even realize that you got it. So <clears throat> check out. Check it out. It's, it's uh, Ghost House. It's kind of an Italian film. It's got like this ghost and it's got a kind of creepy noise. And there's this girl that's got this clown doll that freaks me out. Looks a lot like a lot like a clown doll that I had when I was a kid. <clears throat> Except mine was like a robot clown. And it will like make noises and go across the room. And probably that's one of the reasons I'm scared of clowns today. And Witchery. You know this is going to be a good movie because it has David Hasselhoff and Linda Blair. Now, uh, there's no real features on this one here. Just <clears throat> two really awesomely cool films. Well, let's open it up. This is a Blu-ray DVD combo pack or just uh, Blu-ray? Let's find out. So this is not a collector's edition, so there's not going to be any... Uh, <clears throat> Special features or any books that are not. Book that I mean as a slip case. Okay, it's just a Blu ray combo pack. So, we've we got Ghost House and Witchery. So, we'll just take that out for a second and we'll look at behind there. There's pictures from the movie. <clears throat> I remember Ghost House very well, but I'll be honest with you. Uh, for the life of me, I can't remember Witchery right now. I think I've seen it, but I don't remember it, and I wanted to see it because I watched the trailer, and I did like the trailer. Very cool. It's got Linda Blair, David Hasselhoff, uh, boobs, I guess, because those movies always have that stuff. Speaking of which, <clears throat> Howling 2. <coughs> Your sister's a werewolf. Uh, the rocking, shocking new wave of horror. And uh, this is not a special edition, but it should be because the special features on it are incredible. And yes, that is the Beautiful Sybil Danning, who I, my great crush from uh, when I was a kid. 
Silver Danning and Howling 2 and uh, their Playing with Fire was my awakening as, an, as a young adult. <clears throat> I've always wanted to meet Silver Danning, actually. Uh, she did like a cameo in a Rob Zombie movie in the, Howling, in the Halloween one. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> this has audio commentary with director Philip Mora. Auto commentary with composer Steve Parsons and, exe and the editor Charles Bornstein. Leading man in with Reb actor Red Brown. Actor Red Brown. Uh, <clears throat> Queen of the Werewolves. An interview with the actress Sybil Danning. Which I'm probably going to watch tonight actually because I do like her. A Monkey Phase. Interviews with special makeup effects artist Steve Johnson, Scott Wheeler. Theatrical trailer and still gallery. So this is a kind of a fun movie. Uh, it's a guilty pleasure of mine. I'm not a guilty pleasure. I hate saying that. <clears throat> so we got... There, oh, we actually have a alternate cover. How is this not a special edition? There's a lot of features. Not a great alternate cover, but it's an alternate cover nonetheless. You're not messed with the looks of Super Danny. <coughs> you really shouldn't. <coughs> the cool thing about this movie, well, I don't know if it's a cool thing, but one, it's known because the one that kind of padded out. So they got the, a music video type thing at the end of it. And there's the one scene in the, in the movie where Super Danny actually rips open her shirt and shows, well, Silver Danning breasts. Uh, so, at the end of the movie, when they're doing the music video, <clears throat> they replay that ripping up the shirt breast scene, that like one second scene, like nine, ten times, something like that. I can tell you right now, I uh, I also replayed that scene more than nine or ten times when I was like, oh god, how old was someone this movie came out? <clears throat> it came out in 85, so I was about, oh god, I was 14, so yeah, I was the age when you would be like, oh my god, I gotta see this. Next up is the Collector's Edition of Wes Craven's Shocker. I love Wes Craven movies. <clears throat> I really do. I love, love, love this artwork. <clears throat> so... We got an audio commentary with our director Wes Craven, which is really good to have, especially now he's passed on. Audio commentary with director of photography Jacques Hutkin, producer Robert Engelman, and composer William Goldstein. All new act interviews with actor Mitch Pileggi, who you probably know aside from this, from the X Files. Uh, actress Cami Cooper and executive producer Shep Gordon. No more Mr. Nice Guy, the music of Shocker, I gotta read it. I like that. Tactical trailer, TV and radio spots, vintage interviews. Still gallery and storyboard gallery, so. <clears throat> Usually with these here, <clears throat> what I do is I'll turn the uh, the art over on the inside, so I'll probably do that now. So rather than do what I normally do, I'll just switch this over here so we can have both art. So, Although I do like the new art way, way better. I'm just switching it over because I have the, the slip cover. It's just cool to have them both be able to show people. So this is the original art. Okay. This is the awesome new art. <clears throat> so here we got Shocker. That's original art. Right. Yeah, see, this art would have sold that movie a lot better than this art. I'm actually changing that back. I, I don't even like that <laughs> at all. <clears throat> I really don't. After this video, I'm probably going to change it back. I just don't like that art. And another Wes Craven film. A classic. One I've been wanting for quite a while. And that is People Under the Stairs. It's more uh, kind of dark comedic than the other ones. But uh, I was watching BuzzFeed. Do not start up. <clears throat> and apparently I got a special offer from Volkswagen. So there. Wow. Even Volkswagen knows I'm special today. It's been a long, long day. Today is going to be, tomorrow's going to be even longer. 12 hour work days, not fun. So, beautiful new art for the people under the stairs. I've got to say, I was kind of sad that this poster wasn't available. I really, really like the artwork there. So, feature wise, there's a ton of features on this. We've got another audio. Commentary with director, writer, Rick Craven. A commentary with stars Brandon Adams, A.J. Langer, Sean Whalen, and, and Yan Birch. House mother interview with star Wendy Robbie. What Lies Beneath interviews with, with special makeup 
effects artist Greg Nicotero, Howard Berger, and Robert Kurtzman, in other words, KB. <clears throat> House of Horrors, an interview with director of photography Sandy Cecil. Setting the score, an interview with composer Don Peake. Gun scenes footage. And of course, theatrical trailer. So we'll take this out and see if I want to turn this art over. Yes, I do actually. It's actually pretty cool. Way, way better than the shock art work. I like these movies that are kind of like, where it kind of have the black comedy aspect to them. It's like a dark humor to it. <clears throat> and Craven tends to have that in obvious films. So, this is the other artwork for the people on the stairs. So there we go, guys. I got a poster, magnets, and four, five actually films, but four Blu-rays. <clears throat> so, but we're here right now. Yeah. I can't deal with that alternate art. Or the original art. I really can't. Shocker and people on the stairs are two of the sexiest uh, ones they put out. <clears throat> so, uh, art wise, for me, I think they're both really have fantastic art. So, uh, My two non-collector's edition, even though I think Howling 2 should have been collector's edition. Uh, Ghost House and Witchery. Shocker and People Under the Stairs. Two amazing, amazing films. So, I'll be watching these sometimes this week to uh, kind of like wind down a bit. Uh, I've been really wanting to see all these movies here. Every one of these movies here for quite a while. Like kind of revisit them and rewatch them. Uh, I'm definitely probably going to watch some of the features on uh, on some of these tonight. Howling 2, Silk Danning interview for sure. That's a that's a must. Um, I'll wait to watch Ghost House and Witchery with him because I know my better half will definitely appreciate the the fantastic amazingness of a. Uh, she's she's nodding her head like she's. She may be saying no. But she means she wants to see these films. Can you tell me you don't want to see a girl and a clown? And nonsense comes. It's Italian. Makes it classy. <clears throat> so, there. It's the back for that one. There's the back for that one with Silver Danning. Yes, you can thank me later. Thanks for watching. Say hello to my better half of what's over there. The cat, which Smokey was just kind of chilling out. And me right now, I want to finish off my tea. It's uh, really is time for tea. Am anybody going to watch something there right now? I know that she is probably pretty interested in seeing one of these movies. <laughs> but for now, guys, have a great night. Hope you uh, survive Monday okay and got back to work fine. Or, or, or school, whatever you do. And for me right now, I'm out of here. Have a great night.